Introducing Darion, the World Hardware. And it's all over. Darion Hardware, second round finish. Big oh, jump knee. knee. For the standing guillotine and taken down by Surma, but still caught his Lance Surma. Going hard for the guillotine. He might have it. A lot of power from Caldwell. That's and that it. is the tap. A lightning strike. Bellator finish in his debut for Darion Caldwell. Man, beautiful job. I remember seeing him win his national title and being so impressed with his unorthodox wrestling. Locks up the guillotine. And despite the slam, does not let it go, does not let Surma pass his guard. But Caldwell, to his credit, does not let go of the guillotine and up against the fence. Look at the torque with the hips here. That's the kind of angle you want on your hips for the guillotine finish. Surma, no choice but to tap. He's to kind of just buy time, make Darian work the whole time in these first two to three rounds. So especially when he gets his back to the cage like he is right now. Work at getting back to your feet. Make him have to work at keeping you down. Boric defeated former champion Pat Curran with that flying knee that led to the ground and pound in San Jose in his first fight of the tournament. Caldwell went the distance with Corrales. So what I'd like to see from, from Darren Caldwell is him pushing the head down. Him making Adam use a lot of energy to try to get back up to his feet. Nicely done on the kick and then we make it. The fact that he had that arm trap, he was holding it. That is deep right now. He's it's over. It is all over! Just like that! Darian Caldwell advances! Here comes the backflip! Comes in with this nice shot, takes him down. Borch could have gone to 100%, didn't do that here, but then it was the one. Look at that hand. Look at Darian's right hand controlling the left hand of Borch. That is what sets this up, because he pulls on the arm and swings that left arm around the neck, gets the left arm around the neck, and when Adam misses that hand, he's in trouble. will meet to determine the number one contender in the Bantamweight division. That's why you don't turn your back. And that Darian Caldwell thinks he could be the number one contender in the Bantamweight division, and he has been impressive here in the first two minutes. He looks one like hook so in. Far. Working on the choke. No hooks, only one hook in. He's going for it. He's got it. He's got him now. That's it. That was as impressive a performance as we have seen from Darion Caldwell. That eighth win in the 8 no is going to raise some eyebrows. Not just winning, dominating Sean Bunch. You hear him saying it, I want that belt. A wrestler's instinct a lot of times is to turn and explode, and the exact wrong thing to do, especially against someone as fast as Darian Caldwell. One hook in, and you'll see him lock up the choke nine times out of 10. Sean Bunch could explode out of that position. He could not do it against Darion Caldwell. No choice but to tap. And he was at home. Yep, he's not gonna lose in front of his home people. That was uh, definitely not part of the uh, equation for him. Exactly. And in his one setback, he suffered that eye pull early. Ended up in the hospital post fight. So that was unfortunate in the loss to Henry Corrales. Just past the midway point of our main event. These are the shots that hurt you, though, when you yes. don't see them. And they're coming up underneath, shots. he's in trouble. He is. It is all over. Darian Caldwell with his first career second round finish. And he is now 7-0 at 145 pounds. That's the shot that hurts him right there. It comes up underneath. You never see it. It hurts anyone that gets hit by it. Noad turns, gives his back. Now he's open for shots. And you see Darian hip riding him heavy and landing big One shots. And you see what? Noad all of a sudden not responding, falling flat to the mat. Weight class when you're trying to take on an independent wrestler. But look, Ego's marching orders are pretty simple. And there he is. 
Brass double set up by the hands. And great mix attack. Okay, he threw across, he stepped into it. Well, Ego brought his hands up to defend. Caldwell is already changing elevation to go low and tackle him to the ground. Now, this is a great stand-up, though. What a good job Ego does. Get his back up against the fence, working his way up, unless he can get an underhook. Get one arm inside, though. He's going to be susceptible to be brought down to the mat. Caldwell loves his position. He loves his... Oh, my God. Can he's going to take it. Yes, and it's all over. He has it. Ref, get wait, it wait, wait, get yep. it there, ref. And it's all over. Darian Caldwell submits Leandro Ego. Back up to his feet here, but Caldwell had the position, meaning the underhook. So we're going to go back down to the mat. We know that when Caldwell comes over the top for any submission, the absolute key, it's not pressure, guys. It's getting your hands locked. When Caldwell got these long arms around him, he was locked. It was too tight. He was under the chin. This one is over.